This video is an installation overview for Sinister Diesel's coolant filtration system for 2003 to 2007 5.9 liter Cummins trucks. In the box you will have the coolant filter itself that is replaceable, then the coolant hoses with the T-fitting pre-installed and the fittings for the filter block pre-installed, an instruction manual, Sinister Diesel sticker, the filter block itself, then the necessary hardware, and the mounting bracket for the frame of the truck. To begin this installation, start by draining a minimum of one gallon of coolant from the radiator petcock located on the driver's side of the radiator. Then the hoses and filter block can be assembled. Using thread tape, we're going to coat the threads of the 90 degree fittings on the blue hoses before installing them onto the filter block and ball valves. These ball valves have thread sealant already installed on them and will not need any sealant tape. Next, the filter block and mounting bracket can be assembled with the provided bolts and lock washers. Next, the filter block and mounting bracket can be attached to the frame of the truck using the 18 millimeter bolt. The location used is closest to the passenger side body mount. Once that 18 millimeter bolt is tightened, the coolant filter can be lubed and installed onto the filter block along with the coolant hoses with the ball valves attached. Please pay attention to the orientation of the coolant hoses as described in your instruction manual. Once the hoses are tightened to the filter block, they can be routed through the fender well up to the engine bay of the truck. Then we can start working on the top side of the cylinder head and install the new fitting into the threaded port of the cylinder head. Next we are going to splice in the T fitting supplied with the kit into the heater hose that is located between cylinders 4 and 5. Install the T-fitting into the heater hose and tighten the screw clamps to prevent any leaks in the future. The secondary coolant hose can be routed to the new fitting that was installed in the cylinder head earlier. Tighten this screw clamp to prevent any leaks. Secure the two coolant lines away from any exhaust components with the supplied zip tie to prevent any damage to these coolant lines. After that, this installation is finished. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you on the next Sinister Diesel installation video. For more information about performance products, please contact Sinister Diesel on the web or toll free at 833-507-7181. Thank you.